Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. This is what I'm up to today. Here it comes. Do you know what that is? It's a moose mold. <laughs> and here's the antlers to it. And another moose mold. <laughs> and here's the antlers to it. And they go right above its head there. It has a little uh, spot made out for them to fit in there. Now, I dropped some little eyes in this one. And I'm not sure they're going to work. But um, we're going to see if they will. And uh, here's the little eyes that I dropped down in there. They're super cute. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them to work or not. Uh, I'm going to pull them out of there. And um, probably use some UV resin. To maybe get them to stay in there. So if you would like to see me create that. Then kick back relax. And let's get to it my friends. Okay we're going to start by. I took those little eyeballs out. And we're going to start by dropping that UV resin in. And putting these eyes in. Now I got to tell you. I had to speed up certain parts of this video because I, I cut out everything I could cut out, you all. And I was at 45 minutes. I was like, oh no, that's not going to work. So I had to go through here and edit as best as I could. So some of it's going to be um, a little bit faster than other parts of the video. But um, I'm going to talk the whole way through it because we're going to have some fun with these two moose right here. Um, I don't know if you watch Glitz and Glitter. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, and um, I love her channel. She has so much fun over there. Her husband even joins her sometimes, and she does these little moose. So I had one of my friends send me these two moose right here and uh, wanted me to create them. So I'm going to do something super fun with these little moose, and they're going to be... Um, our little friends that sit right next and watch me create every day. <laughs> so we're just going to have some fun with them, y'all. Now I have those eyes in there. I don't know how they're going to look because I really can't tell if they're, they look like they're right from here, but I don't know. I guess we'll see when I pop them out of the mold. Now the next one, I decided to go a different route with the eyes on this one. I'm going to drop in some of this glitter UV resin. It's blue for some blue eyes. A blue eyed moose. <laughs> and I'm just going to drop that resin down in there. And then I'm going to cure it from the bottom and then from the top. To make sure that I get a good cure on it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just dropping that UV resin down in the little uh, spots for the moose's eyes. I'm trying to uh, not get the UV resin anywhere else in the mold. So I had to take the whole bottle in there. Okay, that looks good. I think I got a little bit on the edge in there, but I don't think it's going to show. So I'm just going to cure that right on up. Okay, I cured it from the bottom and the top, and it looks good. I think, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, now here's the colors that we're going to go with. I'm going to use the orange and the Mylar Flakes for one of them, and this teal and gold for the other one. And I've lost one of them's antlers. I can't seem to find them anywhere. And I'm thinking, oh no, did I throw them in the trash can? I, I don't know what I've done with the antlers, y'all. Oh, here they are. Yay, I found them. There they are. Two of them. Got them. Okay, we're good. Now I'm going to get my cups out here. And I'm going to use this fluorescent... Um, fluorescent orange color here and I got this one from Timu it's in one of my hauls and then I'm going to use this teal color here I 
and then I'm going to get my Mylar Flakes. I love using these Mylar Flakes in resin. They are so beautiful. You can do so many things with these. And then I'm going to get some of these Gold Flakes and put them in the cup. I can never measure out just the right amount of these Gold Flakes because it always seems like I get too much all the time. <laughs> So now I'm going to drop some resin in our cups and get everything stirred up before I add all of the resin to the cups. And I'm stirring up that mica powder in the bottom of the cup with a little bit of resin. And now I'm going to get the orange, stir it up. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Tomorrow's Friday. Now I'm going to get uh, this gold flakes uh, really stirred up because I don't like it when they stick together and make a big clump. And now I'm dropping some resin in the rest of our cups, filling them up with how, how much I think it, it may take. And I'm going to stir them up. And you know we got to have some glitter. <laughs> so I'm dropping some glitter in each of these cups. And I'm just using the, um, the glitters that they're non-sinking glitter. And they come in colors, but it doesn't matter which color you use because they're so light it's like air that you can't even tell the color of them. Unless, I guess, if you added the whole bottle, <laughs> then you might be able to tell. So I'm going to spritz uh, some alcohol in the mold, and then I'm going to tump it over and shake it a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and add that orange, the orange-looking uh, fluorescent orange mica. And then I'm going to drop in some of those Mylar Flakes. And I'm going to have to make sure I stir these and be real careful to not incorporate any bubbles when I get the mousse filled because I don't want those Mylar Flakes to go straight to its head and uh, just be sitting there. So now I'm going to heat up that resin a little bit before I top the mold off. Spritz a little more alcohol. And I don't think I have enough in this cup to fill this mousse up. So I'm going to add a little bit more resin to my cup before it gets down to the bottom and it has no color left to stir it. And now I'm going to get the Mylar Flakes and I'm going to add some more of those. Just go ahead and finish off what's in the cup. And it's still not quite full, so I'm going to see what else I have left in the cup to see if I can get it filled. I'm going to scrape the cup completely out. <laughs> and I still don't have enough. So I'm just going to take some of this clear resin, and I'm going to drop some of it in there to top the mold off and give it just a little bit of a stir to mix it up a little bit. I don't think it's going to matter or show up uh, in our mousse. And what I mean by that is I don't think it's going to leave any clear looking swirls in our mousse. Have any of you all uh, created any of these mousse? This is my first time ever creating in them, but I think they are too stinking cute. And not just the moose. They have all sorts of these uh, size molds. 
and I have a pack of them in my craft room. I've just never uh, opened them and I've never used them. But in the pack that I bought, it didn't have a moose in it. It has all different other kinds of uh, little fun molds, but it didn't have a moose. And I'm just dropping in the gold flakes and then the teal and then a little bit of the gold flakes and then the teal. And I didn't have enough to fill this mold either. So I'm going to try to add some more resin to my cup before I run out of color in my cup. And that way I can just stir it up and I won't have to add any more color to the cup. And I'm just going to scrape out what's left in my uh my little reservoir cup over here, <laughs> my reserve cup, I'm emptying it into there. So hopefully I can get this moose filled by what I have left here. If not, then I'm going to have to make up some more. Uh... Oh, no, I won't. I won't have to make up any more because I have two cups set to the side for our antlers. So if I can get this to work right here, I won't have to make up any more resin. And it looks like I'm going to make it. <laughs> I'm going to heat the uh, mold up a little bit. And it's still shy of some resin. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to make some more and fill it up. Because it's not, it's not quite there, y'all. I'm going to spritz a little alcohol on them and I'm going to move them to the side and we're going to go ahead and work on our antlers here. And here's the two cups that I already poured resin into. I set it to the side because I knew we were going to have to have some for the antlers. Now I'm going to put in some Mylar flakes that we used in uh, the orange, fluorescent orange one for a set of the antlers. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir up those Mylar flakes in my cup. I'm gonna spritz a little alcohol in the mold. And now go ahead and drop those Mylar flakes in this uh, set of antlers. I think this is gonna go really well with our fluorescent orange mousse because those Mylar flakes, uh, when they turn, you know, the light hits them, it's going to bounce off some of that fluorescent orange as well. So I think it's going to go nicely as our moose's antlers. And I'm going to take my little uh, dotting tool here, and I'm just going to poke those Mylar flakes down so they're not sitting on top of the resin. I'm going to make sure that they're pushed down into the resin really good. Now I'm going to get my other cup here and I'm going to just uh, borrow some of that resin from it because they weren't completely full. And I'm going to set them to the side and now we're going to work on this set of antlers. And I'm just going to use one of my, my own personal mixes that I mix up myself. And it's just basically gold glitter. It has chunky, fine, and uh, extra fine in it. And I'm just going to stir it up. And that's how it looks. And it also has those octagon looking uh, glitters in it too. It has some of those in it as well. And I'm just going to drop it here in our mold. Get one more little scoop in there. And I think that's perfect. I'm going to use my heat gun. Pop any of those surface bubbles. 
spritz it with a little bit of alcohol and now we're ready to demold these mousse now I think I may have some trouble getting those big heads <laughs> out of the mold so I have my oil set to the side in case I need it and here are a set of our antlers they turned out beautiful Look at those Mylar flakes in there. They are so pretty. Now let's try to get these moose out of these, this mold. I push those antlers to the side so I don't send them flying somewhere. <laughs> oh goodness, this is not going to be easy to get this out. I could take it to the kitchen sink and drop some soap in it, but... I'm just going to use my oil here. It'll condition the mold anyway, so knock two birds out with one stone, right? <laughs> I'm all about that. <laughs> and I'm just trying to move that oil around in, the, in its head and in the mold so it'll pop out. And there it is. And I'm just going to leave this flip backwards so I can uh, clean it up a little bit. I'm going to grab me some paper towels because if I was to pick that up right now, it would just fly right out of my hands. <laughs> I have oil on my hands and it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. And I'm glad the Mylar Flex spread, uh, spread out around in the mousse. I did have to stir it up a few times. And now let's set its antlers on. Look at those eyes. Isn't that cute? Well, I dropped the antlers. <laughs> they won't stay on. Okay, we're going to set you down real quick before I drop your antlers again. Now let's work on this one. Trying to get it out of the mold. Now I tried to push some of those gold flakes in this one's tail. So I'm hoping they stayed there. And it looks like they did. Now I'm going to have to get my oil and pull it out a little bit so I can get the tip of the oil in there and squeeze it. And now I'm going to move that oil around. Grab this paper towel to make it easier. Okay, now I think we're going to go for it. Well, I almost had it. <laughs> there it comes. Woohoo! I'm drying them off a little bit. Now we're going to take a look at him. Well, there's the gold in his tail, and it's, oh my goodness, he's got cataracts, y'all. <laughs> oh, she's got cataracts. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to fix this with something, you guys. And there's our antlers. She's looking beautiful. Cataract and all. <laughs> I wish you could see those gold flakes in her a little bit more, but... It's all right. Now, we're going to have to hide her cataracts with some of these sunshades right here. There we go. Now you're looking spiffy, dear. Yes, I think that's cute. I guess that uh, I didn't get enough UV resin in there. And then when I dropped the mica in, it uh, filled up the area where I didn't have any of the UV resin at. So it covered one of the eyes. So I'm going to take my uh, heat gun here. And I'm going to drop in some of the uh, glue. And then put the antlers in there. I think that's the best way to put the antlers on. 
because uh, this glue that I use in my glue gun is really, really strong. So those antlers aren't going anywhere. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Okay, now we got to give our moose some names. <laughs> but we need to give them a little bit more personality before we choose their names, don't you think? I think so. So let's uh, go ahead and doll them up some more, and then we can choose what their names are going to be. And I'm just dropping some of this uh, hot glue on the eyes and put these shades on. There we go. Much better. Yes. <laughs> okay, now for our other moose, I think she needs something for her eyes. Don't y'all? So we're going to put her some pretty lashes on. <laughs> <laughs> now I had to speed it up here because my goodness it took me a minute to get these lashes figured out so I'm just going to use my UV resin and I just drew like a little line across the eye and then I followed that line with the lash and then now I'm just going to cure it up to keep those lashes on and then I'll cut off the excess because I didn't know exactly how much it would need and just to be safe I'd rather you know do the whole strand and cut off what I didn't need so now I'm going to try to do the same thing over here <laughs> I put try to put it on backwards <laughs> okay I got it up there right now if I can get it to work right. <laughs> I'm going to hurry up and glue what, uh, cure what I have and then what don't cure I'll fix. Because I, I only have two hands here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut off what I don't need. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Too cute. Too cute. We got to brush her lashes out. <laughs> now we got to fix the edge over here, the side, because it's not uh, staying down. So I'm going to add a little bit more UV resin, try to uh, pat that lash down. I might have to hold it while I cure it. And I hope when I pull my stick off of it, it doesn't pull the lash off too. <laughs> okay, we're good. She's looking beautiful. All right, now they need some clothes on. So we're going to make them some tutus. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Precious, precious, precious. Okay, so I'm just going to fit, see what size she needs, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. And now I'm going to wrap it back around her, and then we're going to drop a dab of that hot glue on there, and then I'm going to push them together and hold them until it stays. Look at that. Isn't that precious? Too cute. You are looking beautiful, girl. Okay, now we need to get the other one a tutu on. So we're going to put this color on uh, this mousse. We're going to fit her for size, get her size right. And then we're going to cut off the excess. <laughs> Go ahead and put her, put her little tutu on. And then I'm going to hold it until the glue uh, dries a little bit. Okay, look at that. 
Oh my goodness, you're beautiful. So beautiful. All right, now they're going to get a purse to carry. Look at that. It really opens. Oh my goodness. Now, how are we going to put this purse on them? I think it won't go over their big heads. So, I think I might uh, wrap it around their antler twice and let it hang. And then we're going to have to have the other one needs a purse too because the other one's going to be jealous. So, she got a silver purse. There we go. Now, I'm going to fix that and I'm going to wrap it around twice and it'll look a whole lot better. And then what I'm going to do, you won't, you won't be able to notice where it's at. What we're going to do next. Well, not next, but after this. Now they need some lips. So, I have these stickers here that are different, different uh, kind of lips. So, I'm going to pick this one right here. Because I think it would be cute. <laughs> I'm going to get my stick so I can put it on here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. So now we got to find a way to keep this sticker on here. And I'm trying to get her wrinkles out. Because we don't want to have no wrinkles. <laughs> Now we're going to need to put some lips on the other one. And I'm just going to pick the same kind of lips because I think these are too cute. <laughs> now we got to get your wrinkles out too. <laughs> okay, now we got to figure out how to keep them on. And I think we might try to use this glitter UV resin. And I'm going to pick out two shades of the pink. And we'll put one color on one of them and then the other color on the other. Because there's not a red in here. So, I'm going to try to outline where the white is at and draw this pink lipstick on. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are looking fargalicious, girl. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's get this resin cured up. And I think that's going to work. Look at that. Too cute. Now, I did the other one the same way. Now, we got to put them some hair on. And I had to cut out part of this for the video. All I did was wrap that hair around both antlers. <laughs> what do y'all think of that moose oh my goodness isn't that precious okay now we got to put something in her hair to hide where the um where they sewed in the hair at so i'm gonna put these uh cute little uh barrettes in her hair but they look like little I don't know, little flowers. I got some glue in her hair and I got to get it out. She says, I'm never coming to this hairdresser ever again. <laughs> now we got to get her other flower in her hair to hide the tracks. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness, y'all. Too cute. Now, here's the other one, and I put a different color hair on her. But I had to, you know, cut out some of it. So, I'm just going to trim her and give her a haircut. <laughs> That's some wild hair there, boy. <laughs> I think I should have left it a little bit longer. But I'm going to add one more piece of the track in there. And uh, then trim it a little bit more. So now we're going to give them some names, okay? So the pink and yellow haired one is Bubblegum Betty. <laughs> and then Fluffy Mitts Flora. What do y'all think of that? Now, Fluffy Mitts Flora, she needs 
some flowers in her hair too. So we're going to put Fluffy Mitz Flora some flowers in her hair. <laughs> okay, we might, there's a little hole in the middle of this flower. So we might be able to get a cute little diamond in that hole right there. I think that would be pretty. So let me get my little stones out here and I'm going to drop a dab of that glue in the middle and uh, add some of this uh, these stones. Give her some bling bling on her pretty flowers in her hair. Now then, Fluffy Mitts Flora, you are stunning, girl. <laughs> I think I might need to uh, put some more lashes on uh, Fluffy Mitts Flora because when we put her uh, borettes in her hair, her pretty flowers, it kind of uh, dipped off into her little lashes. So I think I'm going to put some more lashes on Fluffy Mitts Flora. What do y'all think? Yeah, I think she needs some more lashes. And I don't know if we should cut a little bit of Bubblegum Betty's hair off or not. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I should give Bubblegum Betty a haircut? Let me know, y'all. Okay, now, these are the Tender Twig Sisters right here. Yes, aren't they beautiful? We have reached the end, my friends. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me. It's always so, so much fun. And I hope to see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye, my friends.